application is a module within that uh, direct filing application. You simply go across the top, click on ISF, and it opens the dashboard. Once you're in, you got a couple of options. You can search for an ISF that you've transmitted or built but not yet transmitted through any of the boxes or numbers that are part of that ISF. But you can also look down here and see it. And, uh, and, and the good thing here is you've got the opportunity to see ISFs that were built but not yet transmitted, as well as ones that were transmitted and have a custom status message back. We hope all yours look green. Um, in the test mode, of course, we're sending uh, data that looks, looks correct but really isn't. So we've got an accepted there but no bill on file. They were obviously not able to match the bill on file because it wasn't a real one. Uh, but this is, what the, this is what the dashboard looks like. You've got the green uh, when you get an accepted, and you've got red when you've got a rejected, and that allows you to jump back in, see what was wrong, correct it, and retransmit. Now, before I go through how to set up and file an ISF, I'm going to jump over here and go back over that original idea I had uh, for those of you interested in engaging outside trade partners and vendors. When you sign up with, a, with TRG Direct for our ISF application, you will receive an administrator user ID and password. Once you receive that, you will now be able to get into the system and pass out an unlimited number of user ID and passwords to people within your organization as well as outside your organization. So it's important for you to know, again, that's no, no, uh, no cash to get started up front with ISF. There's, we don't sell this on a license fee or a user fee basis. You literally have uh, complete autonomy to, to get as many people involved with this process as possible. We think that's a good idea because we want this to be as easy and, prof and, uh, and productive for you as possible. So let's say that I am one of your trade partners, Greg Cummings, and you want to set me up and have me help you put together ISF information uh, into the system. So you set up my profile, and it looks a little bit like this. But then getting back to that risk management issue, you want to edit my privileges. You want to edit what I can see and what I can do. So when you click on that, it gives you a couple of different options. First one is standard. That means I can see and do everything. I can build, I can transmit, I can change and retransmit, of course, everything involved with, with, a, with a standard ISF opportunity. But if I was outside the organization, you would click this button here which says ISF only, and then you get a drop-down that allows you to go through and click for boxes to edit what I can see and what I can do. So the first thing you're going to say is, hey, Craig, want that information, but we're not going to let you transmit. We're going to keep that with our executive team so we can ensure the accuracy and the timeliness of that transmission. We're also not going to let you change an ISF after it was accepted, or we don't want you looking at other people's information either. And this is kind of key when you think about that risk management, it's not just the risk to you, the actual transmission and accuracy of the ISF. It's a risk to you uh, for, for that vendor to be able to see other vendors' information. You want to keep that as private as possible. So as you go through this list, you've got the opportunity to make this as restrictive as you would like. So if you don't want me to see or view any other information, you just unclick all those boxes, and you can make this a very restrictive capability from a view standpoint but yet you can engage me to enter the information that you need to ultimately file the ISF. So this has become very popular with our clients because it allows them a lot of flexibility to get those important vendors and manufacturers involved in the process because much of the time they already are. They're providing the information in a different way, and now you're giving them the opportunity to get in and actually, actually decrease the time necessary to get that uh, ISF set up and transmitted. So let's take a look at an ISF and how 